So then lads, back with another video. As you can tell by the title, we're just going to be reacting to the trailer to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2. I'm not going to bullshit with some rambling right at the start of the video. I think I'm just going to get right into the trailer reaction and break down, I guess. I'm not exactly break down, I'm just going to be taking note of things that I've seen. Also, this isn't the first time reaction, I've seen it before. So don't expect me to have some over-exaggerated thumbnail faces that you might see from other YouTubers. So yeah, let's just get into this. Alright, so here we are. Let's start watching, I guess. Okay, so we got a kind of launch. Oh no, actual gameplay. Thanks for the reassurance. Yeah, totally. That was really good. Okay. okay. Respawn Entertainment, the masterminds behind Titanfall 2. One of my favourite games of all time is working on this. That's how you know it's probably going to slap. Not to mention that half the original Infinity War team were working on this. So if you were a fan of the early Modern Warfare games, just know that they're the same as working the magic behind this. And I just realised some titles are on. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep them on. Tell me. Yeah, that is the guy who you played in the first game. So safe to assume that he's the protagonist again. Why leave? So we have when they a won't desert here. Follow. And they won't follow. Now, who does they refer to? I feel like this may be implying that there's some kind of the apprentice that we're training, like due to mentor dynamic. Um, so that could be interesting. Maybe like we could have a gameplay feature of commanding a whole squad. That would be interesting. Yeah, we're we'll getting the view of some kind of desert here. And there's footprints a lot of it. Hold on, I recognise that blue gawel looking motherfucker. See, I may not be that into Star Wars, but I like I watch videos of fans analysing because it's an interesting case study of how corporate greed can destroy a franchise. I remember when watching a video of some guy take the piss out of the trailer for that probably shit new Kenobi show. He did mention a guy looking kind of like that who was called what was it, the Grand Inquisitor. So, you know, maybe if any of you guys have Star Wars fans in the comments tell me if he's a significant character. That would be interesting. Oh, what here looks like somebody in a cloning chamber. Interesting. Why? I a zombie actually. You see that decrepit arm now? Yeah, here we have. That looks like Cal. You recognize the same dead ginger trim that Cameron Monaghan was known for. Even rocking that when he played the Joker in Gotham. Um, and he seems to be fighting some... Okay, that looks like a laser shot and not a laser sword, but he's dressed like the Sith, so you never know. It doesn't like he's holding anything and they're on... I think that's a spaceship. Um, he does have a laser sword, a lightsaber, a krypton katana, and a lumen, a shetty, whatever the fuck they're called. Okay, we have a weird person with long claws there. Uh, that probably signifies that they're evil, but what's this they're holding? Okay, it looks like that's like a cooling box. So I feel like the objective of this game is going to be to get a case of beers. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'd go to Lems to get that. What is your next? Yeah, it's the, the Beluga Man again. Fucking hell. Yeah, that guy's got some British ass dental plan. And then there's the thingy, it's another lightsaber, but he already had a lightsaber in the first game, so I don't get why this is significant. Die. Okay, we have the person zombie tank again. This might be. I'm gonna say some real lightsaber, but we did the same game actually. Who's that? Can some Star Wars fans tell me if that's anyone significant? Like. He looks like the sword guy from those Revenant status memes, or whatever. I don't know, I haven't played Metal Gear Rising, but he, he looks like the guy from the memes. The, the little robot buddy who you had in the first game, he's there. This place looks overgrown. 
interesting to note, but hmm. yeah, it doesn't like there's many Easter eggs we can look at. Here. Yeah, that's the title of the game, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. 2023, so a long way to go till then. Will it be worth the wait? So yeah, now that that's over, let's just talk about it. Now I want to start by talking about the first game. Okay, I haven't entirely played the first game. I remember when it came out, oh, it, it looked interesting. I wanted to play it before it was overpriced. I remember asking it for like pretty much every birthday and Christmas. Since it came out, only game it was the end of last year, and guess what? It went free on EA Play. So yeah, I played like an hour of it before realizing I had too many games to play and then just stopped. But yeah, it was still pretty good in the hour or so that I played it in it. And the interesting thing is, I'm not really a fan of Star Wars. Like, I've seen the films, like four of them are good, but the fact that I managed managed to interest me, despite me not being interested in the world, or Souls like Cyber. I know the game took inspiration from games like Dark Souls, which I've never been into, but still, I think the gameplay was pretty good. So, what I really want to ask right now is, is this finally going to be something to get hyped over? Let me tell you right now, there's nothing that I'm really excited for in the gaming world, or just in general, coming up that interests me, okay? Cod Modern Warfare 2, Roman Numerals 2, Numerals 2, Warfare Part 2, whatever. It looks like it's probably going to double down on everything that we hated about Modern Warfare 2019, but probably not have Ground War, the only thing that made that enjoyable. So that's not something to get hyped for. Uh, there's Hollow Knight Silk Song. Is that really going to come out like ever though? It's going to keep getting delayed again and again and again. There's not really many other games that we can look forward to. It's not just games either. I don't really think there's many films that have been announced that I'm looking forward to. There's nothing really that the MCU could shit out that's interesting me. The only film that might release that I'd be interested in, a potential sequel for the Batman that's been confirmed, but we don't know shit about that. So as of now, that could potentially be the only upcoming piece of media that I'm really excited for. But that's really if I can be excited. Remember, this is coming out in 2023, and we don't know shit about it yet. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. I'm not going to say that it will be great or that it will be trash. We need to wait for some sort of gameplay trailer to decide that. So the question is, can it be finally something to get excited for? Not yet, no. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. So if you enjoyed the content, remember to like, subscribe. I'm, I'm just kidding. Like, if I need to tell you to like and subscribe, it means I made a shit video. So then, lads, that's the end.